Fury, wie wär's mit einem kleinen Ausritt? Hast du Lust? I'd like to see Mr. Jim Newton. You're looking right at him. I am. Oh, you're Mr. Newton. Capital, capital. They told me in town that you would be able to help me. I'm Professor Roger Singleton of the Museum of American Ornithology. Well, how do you do? How do you do, sir? Did you say ornithology? No, 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 no. Orni ornithology. The, the, the study of birds. We studied all about that in school last year. Capital, capital. Then you can grasp the importance of my mission. I'm searching for a new subspecies of the Panicola nucleator. Ain't no family by that name around here. My dear sir, Panicola nucleator is Latin, the name of an order of birds. We ain't ordered no birds. Uh, Pete, why don't you go on in the house and start dishing up supper? If I you, I'd peddle my birds somewhere else. But I'm not peddling birds! Don't let Pete bother you, Professor. Joey and I understand what you're talking about. That is, all except for the bird with the Latin name. Oh, oh of course. Well, you probably know it as the pine grosbeak. Oh, yeah, that's that little bird about the size of a robin. It's got a big bill and it cracks pine nuts. Yes, yes, that's what panicular nucleator means. Pine nut cracker. Oh, there are all kinds of them up around Indian Mountain. Oh, the ordinary kinds, yes. The uh, haven for the black-headed grosbeak and the California blue, but what I'm searching is a new one. The yellow-tailed grosbeak. You mean it's an ordinary grosbeak with a yellow tail? Yes, isn't that fascinating? My, my staff glimpsed a flock of them flying in this direction, and I'm confident that they're nesting on Indian Mountain. Well, I certainly hope you find them. No, oh, have no fear. We will. We? You and I. That's why I'm here, Mr. Newton. I'm going to let you guide me up there. Oh, Golly! I'm, uh, sorry, Professor. I hate to pass up this opportunity, but I'm right in the middle of a roundup. Oh, but my dear sir, you can't do this. Why, if I can bring this bird back, I'll win the Frobisher Trophy. Frobisher Trophy? Well, what's that? You don't know about it. Why, it's... It's famous. It's it's well, it's like the uh, the Oscar or the Emmy. What do you mean? You mean it's a little statue? The gold-plated bird given each year to an outstanding ornithologist, Mr. Newton. I've never won the Frobisher Trophy, and this year I must. You've got to guide me. I'm sorry, Professor Singleton. I just haven't got the time. But look, I'll gladly pay you anything. Good heavens! Professor Copley. Who's that? Dean of Ornithology at Eastern University and an utter scoundrel. <laughs> Professor Singleton, you are a sneak. You bribed my bird watchers so you'd get out here ahead of me. Your bird watchers with their 10 cent telescopes. <laughs> I don't need their help to find the yellow-tailed grosbeak. Oh, so you're going to find it. <laughs> the same way that you found the pygmy pigeons, no doubt. All right, you tricked me on the pigeon. But tell me this, who brought back the snowy coot? Who gives a hoot about the coot? Professor Copley, I refuse to continue this conversation. Good, I didn't come out here to talk to you anyway. Mr. Newton, hmm? whatever he offered you to guide him out there, I'll double it. Oh, I'll triple it. I'll quadruple it. I'll quintuple it. Oh, wait a minute. Nobody's offered me anything to begin with. Well, I'll give you anything you want. If you want me, you'll have to wait her after the roundup. Wait? And let him win the Fobisher trophy? For once, Professor Copley, you've had a brilliant idea. <laughs> 
Just where are you going? Indian Mountain, and alone. And when you get there, you'll find me waiting for you. <laughs> so fast I didn't get a chance to tell them that the road to Indian Mountain ends up there a few miles. What do you think they'll do when they find out? <laughs> well, if they've got any sense, they'll come back and get some horses. Hi, Packy. Where you been all day? Hi, Packy. Oh, my dad wanted me to do some chores. It took me a long time to get out of them. Where are they going? Oh, they're looking for a pinochle knuckle eater. A what? Oh, if you want to know, I'll tell you. A gross piece of... Hey, young man. You better take care of this. I found it on the ground. Gosh, I'm sorry, Jim. Uh-oh, trouble already. Move over, Packy. Yeah. Yes, and you took me right off the line. I drove you off the road. That's what I said. Why, you look at my car. Oh, I, I asked you. I did nothing of the kind. I merely stuck out my hand to see if it was raining. Yes, and you drove me right off the road. I drove you off the road. Look at my car. I ask you, who did what to who? You did who to what? Who? Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. You sound like a couple of hoot owls. Now, look, I don't know who caused this, and I don't know anything about grosbeaks. But I'll tell you one thing. If you keep on like this, the buzzards are going to have a picnic. Buzzards? Picnic? Yeah, if you keep on fighting, you'll kill each other, and then nobody will get the bird. Oh, dear. Now, that would be a tragedy. Yes, and, and a great loss to science. All right, then, instead of trying to cut each other out, why don't you go up there together? Capital. An excellent suggestion. Yes, yes, I, I think I agree, but uh, we have no transportation. Well, there aren't any roads up there anyway. You need horses. Oh, dear. Come on back to the ranch, and I'll loan you some. Oh, 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 that's very, very kind of you, Mr. Newton, but... Unfortunately, I don't know a thing about horses. No, no, and neither do I. Well, then, I don't know what to tell you. I certainly haven't got the time to go up there with you. Jim, I can go with them. I know every bit of that Indian Mountain Territory. And, of course, if you don't need me for the roundup... Mm, no, I guess we could spare you for a couple of days, Joey. How about it, gentlemen? You're willing to have Joey as your guide? Capital, capital! Uh, yes, I, I agree, too. All right, fine. We'll put you up at the ranch and get a start in the morning. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Over there by the wash basin. Hey, Joey. What? You never did tell me what the professors were hunting for. I did so. They're looking for a gross beak. Well, what is a gross beak? That's a bird with a yellow tail. What's it do? It cracks nuts. With its tail? Look, Packy, will you quit asking so many questions? Now go over there and put the water where I told you. The professors want to wash. Wash? On a camping trip? Please, Packy, do what I told you. Okay. Ooh, that horse. Say, Professor. Yes, what is it, my boy? This gross beak, how does it crack nuts with its tail? It does not crack nuts with its tail. It don't know. It must do something. Of course, it, it flies, it lays eggs, it gives its distinctive call. Gives its what? Its call. Like this. Gee, do that again. Oh, you like that, huh? <laughs> well, I must admit that I am rather good at bird calls. Did you hear that, Gold Speak? That was you that made that sound. You mean you thought, really, this is very flattering. Professor, 
That was a dirty trick. Don't you ever try to deceive me again. My dear fellow, I never thought of deceiving you. Until now. Packy, come here. Look, Packy, I'm supposed to keep those professors working together. But if you keep asking silly questions like you've been doing, they're going to get mad at each other. Yeah, but I just want to know yeah, how... Yeah, I know, but look, no more questions, huh? Here, dump these peelings somewhere. I got more chores than at home. Yes, son, what is it? These gross beaks, would they eat potato peelings? Potato peelings? Why, that's the silliest well, thing I ever heard just a of. moment, Professor. The boy was addressing his question to me. Oh. And what makes you think that? Why, even a child knows that I am the authority. Now, my boy, in my opinion... Your opinion isn't worth a sandpiper's peep. Sir, you are talking to the head of the Museum of American Ornithology. Museum? A lot of molting old dodos. As extinct as a great orc. And you, Professor, are extinct. Oh, my name, Professor, cut it out. Packy, come here. Packy, I told you not to ask any questions. Now see what you did, you started a fight. Yeah, but I just wanted to know. I don't care what you wanted to know. Now from now on, no more questions, understand? Yeah, but... Here, this will keep you busy. Peel some potatoes. But you just peel some. Don't ask questions, peel some more. They don't even listen to me. Could sure save them a lot of trouble. Breakfast is over. It's off to find the gross beak. Oh, Professor Copley, I have a suggestion. I'll go east, and you can go west. Just a minute, Professor. There happens to be more trees in the east. Oh, oh, so there are. I never noticed. Mm. Well, more trees mean more birds. So, I shall go east. You will go west. I'm going east. I'll go east, and that's all Don't there is to tell me. I'm not going to have any argument with you. This isn't the way to catch the gross beak. Yeah, why don't you just go over there? Packy, I said no more questions. Look, we'll flip a coin, all right? Right. Okay. okay. Then look, heads, Mr. Copley goes east, and, and tails, Mr. Singleton goes east. All right. I'll agree. Heads, I win. <laughs> Professor, I'll see you later. Happy hunting. <laughs> we shall see, Professor. We shall see. Okay, Packy, peel some more potatoes. More? What for? Lunch.
I just sighted a yellow-tailed ghost bee. But look, I've got... Will you go away? I don't want to be bothered, little boy. Gee whiz. Have you seen Professor Complete? Yeah, he's down there. Good heavens, he's found a nest! But, Professor, you don't have to go down there. I've got a... All right for them. I demand a share of those eggs. Oh, no, indeed. These eggs belong to me, Professor Singleton. But, my dear fellow, I heard the bird at the same moment you did. Yes, well, you tell that to the former Chateaufi Committee. Oh, you, you. Well, I'm going to get out of here. Yes, I will, too. Oh. Gentlemen, 
Try it around, Janelle. Oh, oh no, you, you go first, Professor. No, 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 I insist that you go first. Oh, 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 go, oh, Billy. All right. Okay, Joey, hoist away. Okay, take it easy, Terry and Paul. Oh. Hold it, Joey. Oh, oh, thank you, Mr. Newton. Thank you. Right, we'll get this off. Okay, give me some slack. Okay, Joey, hoist away. Hey, hold it, Joey. Are you all right, Professor? Yeah. Just a minute now. Oh, right. uh, oh, we're very grateful to you, Mr. Newton. Oh, yes. And to you, too, Joey. It's Jerry that did all the work. Which reminds me. I did most of the yelling for help. I demand a share of those eggs. Oh, no, you don't. Why, you ungrateful nest uh, robber. Oh. oh, you've broken the eggs. All right, that does it. This expedition is over as far as I'm concerned. Let's get back to the ranch. Yeah, but what about the Grosbeak? Well, you'll never get it if you keep fighting with each other. Oh, but Mr. Newton! What's in there? Yes. I tried to tell you, but you wouldn't even listen. Well, well what is this little boy? Show us. Oh. Yellow-tailed Grosbeaks. Two of them. Yes. Naturally, he's going to donate them to me for Eastern University. I won't either. Of course he won't. He'll give them to the Museum of American Ornithology, won't you, little boy? No, but I'll tell you what I will do if you quit fighting. Yes? I'll give one to each of you. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll read it again. Professor Singleton says, Professor Copley and I have prevailed upon the Frobisher Committee to award this year's Frobisher Trophy to Packy Lambert in recognition of his having found the yellow-tailed grosbeak. The trophy, as you know, is a statuette of a bird in flight, and Packy will receive it very soon. Joey, can I ask a question now? Sure, Packy. Does that mean I'm going to get the bird? <laughs>